what I've realized now is you guys aren't getting what you need from me. There's like two things, two, maybe three things that I'm good at, okay? And one of them is teaching people how to be better. And I've been on this fucking high horse lately or whatever I've been doing, like, and I just kind of lost focus about what's really important. And uh, I'm sorry. I, I haven't been doing my job and I promise you I'm going to fix that. And the first thing that I'm gonna do to take a step in that direction is remind you guys of the most important thing about this company, and that's our mission. I expect all of you guys to be, to be able to recite our mission statement by heart. If you can't do that right now, please get on that. Because it's not just important to me, it's gonna be important to you, the success that you see in this company and the success of your team overall, okay? If we all understood the levity of what it is we do every day, these things that I'm having to you know, stand up here and talk about, these things that like I'm getting in Rome's ass about every day, they wouldn't be an issue. And I realize that I created this vision and it's uh, extremely unreasonable to think that there's gonna be anybody else ever that will be able to communicate and lay out the vision better than me. But that's kind of like, I guess in my mind, for some unknown reason, what I've been expecting from uh, our supervisors here. Don't work that way. Guys, we're here to help people. All of us get to come to work every day, have a good time. We get paid to do personal development, paid to work out, right? You guys get to go out, give back in the community, have fun in the process, get paid for that, right? You guys get massages, people come in and massage. I do that for you guys to, to show my gratitude. So I know you guys are working hard. Nobody could ever, a lot of things I could say, a lot of things I could say. One thing I could never say about this group is the fact that you guys don't work hard. This is the hardest working organization cumulatively that I've ever seen. I'm not just saying it because it's my company. I'm saying it because it has the advantage of being true, okay? But if we don't tighten up on these things, if we don't fully understand why, we, why it is we're doing what we're doing, I mean, not only will our company go backwards, not only will we, be able, will we not be able to grow as individuals, there's other things that you guys don't understand that could potentially happen as well. And there's a story that I wanna quickly tell to give you guys some of the perspective, to possibly try to make you understand a little bit more about why I obsess over the details, why I think it's so important that if there's a piece of paper on the floor, I'm gonna be the first to pick it up, okay? In the last, about 45 days ago, I had somebody reach out to me on, uh, on Facebook. He sent me a message, and honestly, I don't check my Facebook messages in real time. I get a lot. I happen to see this one right away, okay? This was a gentleman that got turned on to me through doing business with our company. He'd been doing business with our company for a couple months and got to a point where he'd lost his job, his life was falling apart, and in his message, he told me that as he was sitting there next to his wife, he was contemplating ending his own life. I sent the guy my phone number, we talked, whatever, talked him through it. We sent him some meals, get him back on track, He's doing okay now, but I can't help but wonder, what if on that guy's second or third week of doing business with us, we sent him the wrong portions, we f***ed up his order, we gave him something he was allergic to, we did something and failed to take the proper level of action to fix it, and he canceled with our program, never heard of me, never thought to reach out to me, and then that situation, when he was laying in bed with his wife, that went a little differently. That is why I stress this stuff. And that is why I tell you, when we come in here to do what we do, it's for our clients. All these things that I've just pointed out, all the perks of getting to work here, they make it possible. We're not here to get massages and have fun and work out. That is a direct consequence of the hard work and the mission that we are on. We're here to help people change lives, guys. And if we're not doing the things that we're supposed to do, not only will we not be able to change lives, 
in some cases, we might not have the opportunity to save some. And that's all I got.